Hi uh, guys, and welcome to <clears throat> Classic TV Facts and Trivia, excuse me. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today's video is on uh, Ken Osmond, who played Eddie Haskell on Leave it to Beaver, and how, unlike his Leave it to Beaver character, he was quite nerd. Crafty, mischievous, and sly, there was no better antagonist than Leave it to Beaver's Eddie Haskell. Eddie served as the devil on Wally's and sometimes the Beeves' shoulders, offering the Cleaver boys a less than advisable route of a uh, situation. Even still, uh, he was able to mimic the picture of innocence in front of adults like Mrs. Cleaver, and while we're sure June didn't buy the act for a second, it didn't paint a very good picture of Mr. Haskell. However, Eddie Haskell was, simple, uh, was simply a, fac a facade uh, put on by Ken Osmond. Now, while Osmond played the role of bully so effortlessly, that it seemed it almost came naturally to him. The real personality of Ken Osmond couldn't have been further from that of Eddie Haskell. According to Frank Banks' book, Call Me Lumpy, My Leave It to Beaver Days and Other Wild Hollywood Life, Eddie wasn't a bad guy. Uh, quite the opposite. Bank, best known for playing Lumpy Rutherford, a fellow bully, uh, wrote, Now if you ever in life could no have known a more consummate nerd, it was Kenny. But don't be confused, this doesn't mean that there was any bad blood between castmates. Rather, the entire cast of Leave it to Beaver seemed to be very close. Uh, Bank acknowledged that we loved him. We used to tease him to no end, but we all loved him. He explained Kenny was a good guy, but Kenny could not figure out cool. Kenny was great because when Kenny did it, you didn't want to do it. If someone had taken dork lessons and graduated at the head of the class, Kenny was it. Nerdiness aside, Jay Mathers, also known as the Beaver, once said that the actors like Bank and Osmond had the more difficult roles to play in the series. Osmond responded, it's very flattering to hear Jerry say that. I thank him for it. It's more the type of characters Jerry and Tony had. The characters of Wally and the Beaver don't lend themselves to raw energy and play with the characters. He also said, I've been to every acting class available before Beaver came along, so I had a lot of professional training prior to that. Before they turned the cameras on, I'd really try and be Eddie. <clears throat> If you ever noticed on a lot of shows like that, uh, if you're playing, usually the person playing the character is almost the opposite. The person is almost the opposite of what the character is in a lot of characters. Uh, that's uh, it's like uh, Aunt B, Frances Bavier on the Andy Griffith show, how she's so motherly and everything on the Andy Griffith show is Aunt B. And then she was more of a recluse and uh, introvert uh, in real life. Uh, and it was just, not that that's a bad thing, uh, but, you know, it's just kind of neat how that's the actor of the person that they're able to portray that and pull it off and make it look real. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about uh, Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Please check that out. Please subscribe. Um, please like this video if you don't mind. Please subscribe here if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Please share it out with your family and friends. I don't care. Go ahead and do it for me. Uh, it's do it. Just do it. Have a great day, guys. God bless. I'm praying for you.